Welcome to Illustrator for Bloggers. I am Allison of The Allison Show. I'm going to show you how to open a document in Illustrator, prepare it for your blog. I'm going to show you how to use the selection tools and in this video we're going to learn how to make a shape and how to change the size of that shape using the selection tools. Go ahead and open Illustrator and to open a new document, File, New, and title it. Always include um, the name of your blog or whatever keywords you want um, to be searchable in the name of your document. That's a tip for bloggers and SEO. The width of my images I like to keep at 570. That is particular and unique to my blog so you need to um, know what the width of your area is where your images go. I'm working in pixels as, as opposed to inches or another measurement because um, that's easy for me to work with when I'm transferring to the internet. And I don't particularly care about the height because this is a test, but we'll say 800. Okay, there's our uh, document, our artboard. Over here you have your basic toolbar if you see to the left of your screen. We'll start with these arrows. The black arrow is the selection tool and the white arrow is the direct selection tool. Down here is another popular tool, the rectangle tool. If you hold it, click on it and hold, it's gonna pop up and give you these other shape options. Let's go ahead and pick the rectangle. If you wanna make a rectangle that is a specific size, all I did to bring up this measurement was click once. I want to make a rectangle that's 270 pixels wide by 700 pixels tall. And there's my rectangle. If I wanted to directly manipulate a point on the rectangle, I would use my direct selection arrow, which or is the white arrow. That's why I think for Illustrator can be really frustrating for people. You see an arrow, you think you can move your object, and all of a sudden this starts happening to your nice rectangle. Don't be frustrated. What you meant to do, and I'm going to go back by a shortcut, Command Z. It takes me back a step, gets my rectangle nice and square again. I need my black selection tool. That is the tool you want in order to move that all around. You can uh, mess with the ratio of your shape using the black selection tool. If you want to access individual points, that is when you use your white arrow. It's little simple things like that that can make Illustrator frustrating for you. But now that you know the trick, no need to get mad. If you have an image and you don't want to warp the ratio of it, let's say I want a perfect square, you simply need to make your shape and hold shift. Now I'm making this shape just by dragging and clicking my uh, arrow, my mouse, and then I can move that around. That is a perfect square. This will also apply with the ellipses tool or the circle. Click, start dragging to make your circle, and if you hold shift, see how it automatically grabs it and locks it to make it a perfect circle. To learn how to use these shapes and your selection tools to make a mood board, a tutorial, or a clipping mask as the technical term, uh, term, go ahead and watch my next video and I will teach you how to do those things like turn your baby into a circle.